Ross here from Hostile Conditioning, and today we're going to shoot a video with Dara. Hello. She was hiding outside. <laughs> and what we're going to do is, this is going to be good for the silverbacks and for the ladies of the little black dress. And uh, basically it's a recipe to make homemade protein uh, bars. Is it not? That's what's going on? Yes, so is. I'm going to take it to Dara and she's going to go there. She has an apron on. I already told her she needs a skull on it. We're going to fix that for next time. <laughs> so uh, go Dara. All right. So to make the protein bars, uh, you're going to start off with three quarters of a cup of cashew butter, which you can make yourself or if you don't have time to make it, you can always pick it up at any supermarket or health food store. So you put that into your bowl. I'm just going to chuck dishes behind myself here while I'm doing this. That's how we do dishes at Austin. Yeah. <laughs> what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to take a quarter of a cup of honey. So scoop that out and you're going to throw that in the bowl with the cashew butter. If you're having trouble getting them out of your containers, you can always heat both of those up. They'll come out a lot more easily. So just combine them all in the bowl and you're going to end up with something that has a, like a bit of a fudgy texture. So combine them together really well so that you don't see any of the honey. So basically like this. Next. You're going to make some oat flour, something else you can also buy, but usually I try and make most of my own ingredients. So we're using oatmeal here? Oatmeal, yeah. Okay. So you put oatmeal, a cup of oatmeal, into your blender. It's going to be noisy for a second, guys. <clears throat> and you blend it for probably about 30 seconds, just so that it breaks down into a fine kind of flour-like texture. <laughs> You don't have to have it fully fully blended through. A couple of extra pieces of oat in there is not going to make or break the recipe. That's a little crunchy to it. Yes. <laughs> so you dump that in. Next you're going to do the, sorry, the next, the next you're going to do the same thing with the, uh, the coconut. You're just going to quickly uh, run it through the blender just to break it up a little more. I did buy some finely uh, grated coconut, so... Is so coconut powder? No, it's just coconut. Coconut, so the raw coconut itself yeah. out of the shell. So this one is an organic okay, unsweetened. Sorry, organic unsweetened coconut. Cool. You're going to want to give that a little blitz just to help break it up a little more. Again, you want to try and get this stuff as fine as you can, but, you know, like I said, it's not going to make or break the overall recipe. Depends on the kind of texture you want, I yeah. guess, right? Yeah, basically this recipe, you can toy with any of the measurements. You can, like, the amount, like, we just basically came up with a base that kind of fits the meal plans that we have here. Because we're trying to match a certain amount of macros, yeah. protein, carbs, and fat per bar and stuff. So exactly. So I'm just going to run this for a couple of seconds. <laughs> that to the mix as well and again all this stuff is room temperature nothing's heated yet nothing's no you can heat it like the we're not the cooking stuff. anything right? no we're not cooking this, yeah. this is a non-cook recipe it's like a cold press cookie thing all right so you've got that added in there give that a little mix just kind of wet everything down so this also burns calories and helps you build your yes. muscle your arm muscles yes. that's excellent the uh, honey and uh, cashew butter really uh, things up. Yeah, definitely. So next you're going to want to add three scoops of a high quality protein powder. We use the whey fusion that we have here, but you can use whey no, fusion no, you have to from use Hostile. Whey fusion. That's your whey fusion. <laughs> use any other protein, it destroys yes. it. Actually, I think turns them into poison. Exactly. I, I mean, I'm not 100% yeah. sure, but I take a chance. Whey fusion, save lives. So at this point, it's going to look kind of kind of dry. Doughy, yeah. But we still have more dry ingredients to add. <laughs> uh, the next thing that you're going to add is some puffed quinoa, which is something you can buy at a store. I 
pop my own where it's basically like the old school popcorn you throw the grains into just like a, a pot you don't need to put a lid on the stuff doesn't hop very high put it on medium heat you're gonna start hearing it popping and once it starts turning kind of a golden brown color that's done the texture is kind of uh, it softens up enough so that you can chew it sometimes you'll buy some uh, roasted stuff and it's a bit too crunchy this stuff is nice and nice and puffy so this actually i taste a little bit it tastes a lot like cheerios if you took a, a couple of you know raw cheerios yeah and eat them it has the very same consistency same taste exactly so we've got those thrown in there and lastly we're going to throw in some chia seeds and some hemp seeds uh usually i put in about an eighth of a cup of each you can put more or less depending on your needs the the hemp heart uh, sorry hemp hearts that go in there they're for a they're a prebiotic um, and the chia seeds are just some added protein and they, you know, and these are all like just they come out of like the raw out of the package like Yeah, not yeah, you don't do anything, anything with them. Okay, so throw that in Now at this point you combine it all together More mixing More mixing. So if you had like a blender or mixer army thing you could use that, right? Yeah, like I have a, a stand yeah. mixer at home yeah, that's what That I meant. stuff that's with the arm I'm is amazing, but not everybody has those And again, we're looking to burn calories at the same time yeah. guys Now the last thing that you do like when it's in this uh, oh. All right, I just have to grab a bottle of water. When it's in this state, um, you want to kind of wet it enough so that it just kind of forms together into a ball. So we don't want to turn it into mush, we just want to make it a little pasty? Yeah, you just want it to come together. So, I don't know, maybe add about a quarter of a cup of water to it, but just do it in little bits at a time. Quarter of a cup may be just enough, depending on the brand of items that you use. It might be a little drier than others. So a little bit at a time, mix it, see if it's enough, if not a little bit. Don't just overreact and throw exactly. a whole cup of water in there and have protein bar soup. Exactly. Now you see how this is coming together now? It looks like a, a batter. So is that dry enough or is that too dry still? No, this is about the consistency okay. you want. So you don't want it to be runny. You want it to almost have the consistency of your cashew butter, almost was at the beginning. Okay, like yeah. It's, it's firm. Play-Doh-ish yeah. type level? Yeah. Don't eat Play-Doh, guys. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not advising that. We've all done it. Don't eat Play-Doh. So at this point, what you're going to do, when it's all mixed together, uh, at home, you would have a baking dish, like a you know, an eight by eight baking dish. Flat pan or whatever, yeah. But we're in hostile and we don't have that kind of thing here. So we're so, using a plate. Oh no, we're using no, we're a dish. Not. We're going to okay. use these plastic containers. Cool. So this basically goes to show you that you can make these anywhere. And Anyways. they taste really good too. Cool. So I've got two containers, so I'm going to half the recipe up. So we're just going to put it in there and flatten it down like, like making brownies, I guess, or whatever, right? Exactly, yeah. Cool. So what I usually do, just thoroughly wash your hands. Yes, we always wash our hands at Hostile. You do? Every smoothie that comes out of here is with impeccably clean hands. That's right. We try to match the fit for human consumption, <laughs> bare minimum of things. So, this is not particularly even, but. So, what flavor of protein powder did you put in there? We didn't talk about that. Uh, actually, I, t normally I would use just vanilla. Right. Uh, but today I actually combined some uh, vanilla and chocolate. Just, you know, give yourself a little bit of a different. Uh, and the dish soap does what? Uh, oh, for cleaning. Okay. That's a nice uh, ruby right. red grapefruit flavor <laughs> to it. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So. After washing your hands, you're just going to want to press these into your container, like so. Any extra moisture that you notice on the top, honestly, that stuff goes away. Evaporation. Yeah, it's you're going to put it into your fridge and let it set for about a half an hour. Uh, after the half an hour is up. Um, We'll, we'll actually put up a picture of the finished bars once yes. everything is done. We're not like the professional cooking shows that just reach underneath <laughs> and oh, there it's done. The fridge and get some. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Remember Walk with Yan? Remember that show? <laughs> this is from with my the brother. The t-shirts? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walk's wrong with you. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, after these are done, you're going to put, like I said, you're going to put them in your um, fridge or freezer for about a half an hour. They're not going to freeze up solid in the freezer either. Um, they're going to firm up a bit. You're going to tip them out of the container. And you're gonna chop them into bars. So in this size container here, yeah. how many bars will we make out of that? Like how many will we cut that into to fit the macros? Like what will we turn around and say, okay, this size container, we'd make what, six bars out of that? Um, in each container, there's about six bars per okay. container. So you get a decent sized bar. Yeah. You know, like you're you're looking at something, you, you kind of almost compare it to most of the commercial ones, except for like the really ginormous ones. Right. But like the Quest bars and things like that. Okay. Similar size to that. Okay. 
And um, yeah, after they're, they're cut up, you can uh, take a tablespoon of uh, coconut oil mm -hmm. and a tablespoon or two of, you can go with chocolate chips, like dark chocolate chips or uh, I have an 85% uh, cocoa, cocoa bar. Yeah. Uh, you could you just put uh, I don't know two or three squares of that into uh, the coconut butter, throw it into the microwave for about 20-25 seconds, melt it all together. You're gonna have a nice runny chocolate concoction, and uh, you drizzle that over all of the bars oh, when they're done. Flavoring. Yeah, the, the the coconut oil will help carry the chocolate flavor, so you're not having as much chocolate, and you're also adding the extra oil into your diet so good the, fats, yeah, yeah good fats beautiful so yeah that's basically how you do it and, and each bar what do we figure out the macros work per bar did uh, we get there we got yeah. some notes we basically said that each bar is going to be about 185 calories you're looking at about 15 grams of carbs 11 grams of fat and 10.6 grams of protein awesome so you know it's definitely a, a good snack to have, and it's it's kind of got that sweetness to it too that like you can have with a coffee. Gives you that treat feeling. Yeah, and stuff so it's like that. Uh, but it's all good ingredients. Just make sure that you get like the best quality ingredients that you can, like for basically anything yep. that you eat. That's that's your best bet instead of going and buying processed stuff. If you can make it yourself, great. great well, taste. you can see, guys, it's all made fresh, and you know this video is 11 minutes long. Uh, Derek could have done it faster if she was just focused on that and not explaining stuff. So let's say seven minutes production time in the fridge for half an hour. And, and you know, so when we talk about meal prep, you know, something that takes 30, 40 minutes that you can make while you're making your other food, you've got some high quality, clean protein bars. Uh, if you want to add more protein, you can throw another scoop of protein in it, you know, adjust for your own taste. That kind of thing but again um I, we've tasted them they're pretty good and what i like about it is just how fast it is to use to make and prepare so again another reason why we don't have to have an excuse for not having some good snacks when we're going into a situation where a snack would come in Ooh. awesome there thanks guys